Hello everybody. Today I want to distinguish about the gross method and net method. This one will be on the test and this and this one used for sell account receivable for discount. In the gross method, the discount is not included, but in the net method the discount will be included for the sale. For example, sales $100 per shoe with 50 pairs, shoe over 10 and N over 30. Number two in here is about discount 2% within 10 days. So this one, number two in here, that's a discount 2%. And uh, if you, if the customer purchase within 10 days, they will discount 2%. If they purchase over 10 days, for example, the day 11, they don't discount anything. So I just begin the January 1st. In the first one, we will recall about account. Receivable and we have sales because this is a gross method, this is not include the discount, so we have still have 5,000 and 5,000 100 multiplied with 50 is 5,000. And uh, the next one, that's a net method. But we still write account receivable sales because the sale discount 2% when we multiply 5000 with 1 minus 2 it means the total is about 4900 so that's the account receivable is 4900 and 4900. This is the first one. The next one, if the customer purchase on within 10 days, so I choose about Chan 8. So that we will have cash, sales discount. and uh, account receivable for example the customer purchase only 20 shoe we know that 20 shoe multiplied with 100 is about 2000 however they have the same discount here so we just use 2000 multiply 2% to find the discount is $40. So that is $40 in here. And we just receive only 1960 because we just discount the sale. So we just receive only 19,000, 1960 on a similar in here. But we just discount over there, then we just put like this cash and uh, account receivable. The total sale discount just similar 1000, just similar to number. But we don't need to have the sale discount in here because we just discount on the top one. The next one that's about January 20. This is over 10 days. So that we have cash and account receivable only. So we have, for example, they purchase only 30 shoe. We just multiply 100, it's 3000. But 
because they sell over 10, 10 days, so they don't have the discount. And we just recall 3000 and 3000 On the other side, because that's the over 10 days, we need to revert back the discount. So we have cash, we have account receivable, but we need to put the sales discount forfeited. We have 3000 in cash similar, and we have 2940, and we have 60 because we use 4900 minus 1960 we will got about 292940 and uh, because we just calculate the cash in here 3000 so in here there is still the same still the same 3000 we use 3000 minus this, this number we got 60 so so that we do the last one, that's the income statement. Income statement comparisons. We have sales with just less about sell this cow we have next sale first the total we sell in here is about 5000 we have sell this cow in here let's see 40 we put 40 in here so that we have 4960 but in here, because we discount on the top one, we need to add more the sell discount for fated. So we have sales four thousand nine hundred. We add sell discount for fated. So that's about 60. So the next sale is about 4960. So that the the gross methods they just minor the discount but the net method they add the sale discount forfeited back to the next sale. So that's a two different and we need to learn how to do the ROS method and net method. I will show you again. That's it, the end. Thank you for watching.